Uh, 41 point win. I think it's only the sixth time in franchise history you guys have had a game that lopsided again in franchise history. What was clicking for you guys and your level of focus this evening? Um, you know, I think, you know, just defensively we were locked in. A lot of the stops that we had turned into easy offensive baskets. And then it's one of those nights where I think everybody shot pretty well, um, had a good rhythm early on. Uh, you know, a lot of times the NBA, I mean, they're at the end of a really long road trip. Uh, guys getting traded before the game um, for them. So it's sort of unfortunate circumstances, you know, kind of puts people in a bind a little bit mentally. You can go through, you know, a little bit of a funk and we just happen to have good rhythm, play with a lot of confidence. You've been in the league long enough to see teammates come and go. How cool was it to, to see D'Angelo before this? Oh, yeah, it was awesome to see D'Lo. You know, um, even, you know, this summer, connecting with him, uh, getting to hang, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, one of those things, uh, sort of bittersweet to see guys that, that close to you um, leave in free agency, but to have him come back, um, you know, you kind of pick up right where you left off, just obviously him in a different jersey. Uh, but, you know, those friendships, you know, that you make, those are lasting. Um, you stay around in the NBA long enough, you know, you're going to bounce around. Teammates are going to bounce around, but, you know, those friendships, they, they remain constant. Kevin often, or excuse me, whoa, Kenny oftentimes preaches defense, talking about how that's this team's identity and that's what's important. And tonight you guys held the Warriors to shooting 12.8% from the three-point line. I mean, what, what goes into that kind of defense effort and how can you replicate that going forward? Yeah, I think um, just, you know, everybody was locked in in terms of, you know, what the game plan was, knowing the personnel, knowing who we were shifting off of, um, knowing who we were staying attached to, um, trying to take away. Uh, I thought we did a good job just contesting everything, too, even if we were in rotations or scrambling. It seemed like guys were always getting a contest. They didn't have a lot of just clean, open looks. But then, you know, a little bit of that, I think, can be attributed to, you know, what I just mentioned to Grady, you know, the fact that they're kind of going through sort of an unfortunate time with, you know, guys getting traded right before the game and just being at the end of a long road trip.